Welcome to Good Mythical More. Uh, the Neil's got a new dog, Jasper, got a new brother. I wanted you to meet him, so we're gonna introduce you in this Good Mythical More. Read it, Jade. Check your voicemail. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Link Neil. I'm here at CVS Pharmacy. I have your prolapsed anus medication. Uh, you know, you haven't come in for the past couple of days. Uh, I'm just calling to give you a, a check up and you'll see how you're doing. Um, but we do have your medication here at the pharmacy. Uh, if you could please come in and pick that up right away. Thank you. For my prolapse. Prolapse anus. 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 I have a I have a pro anus, uh, but it's more in the lapsed zone. Oh gosh. Yeah. Uh, That's awful. You need to go take care of that. <laughs> Look at this dog. He's just gonna lay right here. Look at this. <laughs> he's like he's so passive. He just you just like laid him down. All right, let's do it. Let's do the same thing, Jade. Jade, lay down. Yeah. So um, we adopted this guy a little over. Let's see. I mean, it's, it's, it, he's no, been a part it. of the family for a number of weeks now, um, and he's gotten more comfortable to the point where. He's not barking at every single person he sees. Well, he, he and having he, a conniption. He was barking at me this morning, uh, and I'm a little surprised that he is not. I think out. he might yes. just be very overwhelmed, and yeah. his oh. reaction is, he hears you. "Oh, you like that?" He likes the woman hey. with the lovely voice. He like loves. That? He loves women. He absolutely loves Christy. He is attached to her. He's. We've been dealing with this separation anxiety. Um, like from the moment we adopted him. He, he was 11 months old when we adopted him and um, he, was, he, was, he was with the family that, you know, they tell you stories and they're a little sad but not too sad. They make but, all the but, stories up. But, um, so it was a little bit of a sad story. They make all the stories up. And uh, I, I talk all about Jasper in the latest episode of Ear Biscuits. So uh, if you wanna hear the entire story of Jasper, who Christy also started calling him Jazzy, that just kind of came out, and then I was like, oh, Jazzy, Jazzy Jeff. We can call him Jeff after Jeff Propes, uh, host of Survivor, greatest show on television, greatest host of all time. Okay. Love you, Jeff. So yeah, I was like, we can name him after DJ Jazzy Jeff, Jeff Propes, and Jasper, which is another J Stone or Jim word, so we got a Jade, and but you Jasper. do need to land on something so me, he so he knows what his second. name is. No, he's got three names. Okay, he won't be confused. I also call him Peanut Butter Jade. So I got a Jade and a Peanut Butter Jade. Come on, get next to each other. Look at him. Look at him, Rhett. Look at him. He, Jade, Jade likes to make out with me, but Jasper doesn't. Look at all that cuteness. Mm. He's a peanut butter jade and a regular jade. Well, maybe when he's in this mood, maybe I can hold him. Maybe he's, he, maybe yeah, 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 here. Hey. There hey. you go. Hey. There you go, it's Jake. Okay. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to eat you. Maybe later. Yeah, I don't, he doesn't really like guys that much, but he's doing okay in this environment. Wow. This is what we needed. We needed to overwhelm you. So... Stevie, what are we doing? Because we're just going to hang um, out with these doggies. Yeah, we're going to talk about certain events and occasions and what the best snacks uh, or general food um, would be to have at said, said events and occasions. Okay, all right. Um, What's the first one? I mean, I don't mean to sound, start with a downer here, but it is, it's written as, as, as round one, funeral. You smell like so this is during the ceremony? Mm, I don't feel like that would be appropriate. Well, I mean, some of the best food I've ever had has been around people dying. Uh, you know, like when people bring food over to somebody's house when somebody dies. Yeah, that that's, I think that's what we're talking, I don't think we're talking about sitting in the, you know, standing next to the grave, snacking on something or, you know. I think we should talk about that. Okay, let's talk about that then. Uh, and maybe not like graveside service, but we're talking about. I haven't about seen a like lot of eating at that point. In no. this, in the, in like when you're at the funeral home or at, at, at a church for, the ceremony, and let's just say it's like a longer ceremony, and you're like, my blood sugar might get low if I don't take care of this right now. Oh, so this is like purse snacks situation? Oh, I yeah, so. definitely. I mean, but everybody's got them, but they're just served in purses. <laughs> purse snacks time, everybody. You know, it's kind of the silver lining for somebody dying. Oh, there's gonna be purse snacks. You know, you just snatch a purse and snack a, 
snack with the worst. I think Junior Mints would be good at a funeral. Because, you know, it's like, they they smell good. You know, it's like, it give you mint breath, which is nothing nobody's gonna complain about. Back. He looks scared. He, oh, see, well, okay. You mean, he, he, he kind of looks scared constantly, so yeah. I don't know if he likes to lay like so this. So, the writers were on the same page here. They are, they have pitched just straight up during the service snacks as okay. well, um, All right. and, and What's some reasoning. Pitch? Um to prove that you're not a sociopath who lacks the ability to cry, reach for a bag of extra spicy wasabi peas. Oh. That can get, get something going there. It might be a little violent, might be a little bit of a, oh! which you could feel at any time during a funeral. And you um, could transfer that directly into a very big cry, and then you seem yeah. like you care. Um, And then if you're an atten attention-seeking narcissist, a big old bag of Doritos because grandma's time to shine has come and gone and it's about <laughs> you today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So I think that, I think everybody was on the same page with that one. Um, divorce court hearing, which is like. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, we went from sad to sadder. I think yeah. that might even be sadder than the funeral. Home. Well, I think when you're you back on junior. Well, I'll wait until we get to gender reveal party. Divorce court hearings are about negotiating for things. And you don't and you kind of want to seem like you're really doing bad. So, like, what kind of candy is like, no, I'm, no, 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 no. I'm suffering right now. Oh, yeah, if you're talking about. Well, if you're it's negotiating a, for stuff, like I get the car, you get the house. Yeah, but so you if, it's, look if it's custody, though, you want if it's child custody, you want to look good. You Peanut look butter good. and jelly sandwich, both. It's yeah, good yeah. for kids. Yeah, but and, it's and it's sad to eat it. It's sad. outside. Yeah. Yes. You just take a peanut butter. And are we talking aluminum foil wrapped? Or are we talking like in a sandwich bag? I think we're mm -hmm. talking aluminum foil wrapped. Like it takes a while. What to does open that it. say? What what does that choice say? It says I and you you take aluminum foil that's been used to wrap something else up before. So you're like I'm at this point I'm reusing mm. aluminum foil. Okay. Yeah. I'm using the plastic I'm using the plastic zip up bags for you know drugs and stuff. That's probably not gonna get the kids. What if we just held dogs in every more? I mean we might get more viewers. Look, 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 look. This may be the answer. Like they're both. They, it's amazing a, he's how. Asleep. Uh, both of your dogs will stay in your arms. Can you imagine what Barbara would be doing right now? She would. She Sometimes would, Barbara rah, rah. does this, where she lays her head on you. Jade never did the lay. No, no, Barbara. Head. Barbara does that, but she's got about. At home, she might go for a minute. Uh, here, there's too many people. There's too many experiences besides the one that she always has at home, which is with me. So yeah. there's just too. She's too overwhelmed, and she wants to connect with everybody equally. I think we've solved. Jasper's anxiety issues, and you need to bring five cameras home with you. Yeah, and see about Morgan's availability. Yeah, I mean, there's we've been through a lot with the separation anxiety um, okay. to kind of to kind of work him out of it. So we're we're making good progress. This is a milestone moment, and um, Just like I said, more details in the podcast. But the writers the, right, have suggested. Reveal? Sorry, what? Oh, what were you saying? Oh, the writers have suggested some divorce okay. court hearing uh, snacks, if you'd like to hear them. Yeah. Um, Nature Valley granola bars, you can properly demonstrate how your marriage fell apart. <laughs> those things are crumbly, man. You can't eat one of those without getting crumple somewhere. I know. It's like there's more in, in the, the residue of the wrapper than, you, than you've consumed. Yeah. And this is nice. Um, Twix bars, because there's two bars. So everyone gets a, a bar. Everyone yeah, gets an like, equal She share. gets the left Twix, I get the right Twix. Call it even. Well, mm. we'll argue about that. Yeah, yeah, she gets, it turns out she gets 90% of the right Twix as well. Oh. Yeah, she's the reason you are everything you are. It man. depends on what state you're in. Mm. Okay, it's the moment you've been waiting for. Gender reveal party. Mm. Gender reveal party. I think you want to eat something that's going to cause you, it's going to induce vomiting so you get to leave. <laughs> And not have to be there for when it is. You don't want to be there. It's like, just come on. I mean, I, I think I think we want a bunch of wieners. Mm -hmm. And then uh, some, maybe some, what, what's the? I think it's pigs, it's pigs in blankets. And I mm. think that mm. you're like, okay, and you're ready for either scenario. 
And if it's a boy, you take the wiener out and everybody shakes it. And if it's a girl, you take the wiener out and everybody picks up the empty blanket, blanket. and shakes it. Yes, that's <laughs> gross. And you pick it up and shake it. You gotta pick it up. Everybody's shaking the, shaking the blankets. Must be a girl. This would, uh, yeah, I didn't want to ask, what are the vaginal snacks? Well, well I, it's a pig I, and a blanket you did want to pig. ask that, and I Pigless saw that you did. A bl just a blanket. Pigless blanket. Um, vaginal snack. The writers have suggested, and this just makes a lot of sense, um, marshmallows for when everything explodes and there's a large fire. To put it out, yeah. yeah no, no, not to put it out, to roast. There is going to be... <laughs> I, to, to put I was going to put it out. Put it out? fire with giant marshmallows. Oh, marsh but to put it out. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a fire extinguisher. Throw the marshmallows on the fire. Um, your adult son finally moved out of the house. Ooh, that's. Okay. So what are you eating? You're going to eat something that remi doesn't remind you of. I, th I think you're going to want some sort of um, liquor. You're going to want to get blitzed. You know? You're going to want to celebrate. He's old. He should have been out a long time ago. It's a really expensive um, liquor that you wouldn't have shared with him. Right. Yeah, because he wouldn't have appreciated it. That's the easy on he's, the He's worthless on the and nose doesn't answer. appreciate anything. Can you sit up, Yeah, Jazzy? that's on the list. Sit up, Jazzy. Um, Show them how tall you are. As well as lots and lots of edible underwear. I don't know why you have lots and lots of edible underwear and you have been storing it up. No, what this means is now that your adult son is gone, you can get freaky, make all kinds of noise, you can sound like animals in there, and you can't be embarrassed because you, there's no longer children in your house. Oh, so, you, so it's not sitting at the dinner table just eating piles of edible underwear. It's using edible, edible underwear. underwear as they were intended, mm -hmm. which I still haven't quite figured out, but we've got a stack ready to go for when our kid, yeah. last kid moves out. Let me ha let me have her, because sometimes I like to try to get them to sleep together. Well, I thought you were going to say get her to like ride on the back like a like a little dog riding a big dog. Sit, Jake. Sit. You, know, you guys need a spoon. Your, your siblings, but like sibling spoon. I've never seen anybody manhandle their pets in such a <laughs> Come on, aggressive Jake. way. Lay down. Lay down. As you can see, it's, you know, it's basically, I just like to think of uh, Jasper as a long legged Jade. Well, that kind of is what it is. Yeah, if you sit here, Jade, let's get a nice. Let's get a nice comparison. You need to get them to the get, heights get pictures together and they can do the profile thing. I know, look this way, guys. At Kmart. Look at him. Isn't this just the... I mean, we have enjoyed having these dogs and the fact that they get along so well and that, I mean, uh, Jade will sleep with Lincoln and Jasper sleeps with us now, but sometimes they both slept with us. And, uh, oops, sorry. Did Jade start sleeping with Lincoln after was, you got Jasper? Or before? No, that was that was before, because uh, we were having some. He, she was moving around a lot and waking us up. Jasper doesn't do that. What do you want? Oh, there he goes. Wow, you can't do that, can you, nope. Jade? Jasper does a lot of things that, that Jade can't do. Come here. You could never do that. Maybe. You'd just break if that happened. And Jade hasn't been too jealous. No, she hasn't been jealous at all in the little time that she's been out here right now. Have you? Adult. Am I smushing you? Softball league practice. Adult softball league practice, you can eat anything. I mean, it's not, you know, you can, no offense, Jenna, but I mean, when it's adults playing softball, I mean, I mean, you could, you could eat ribs on yeah, the field. But, yeah, but while playing, I think you can, I think you can play softball with a drumstick in your hand. Just like a fried chicken drumstick. Right. We don't see it much different than cornhole. Like in, <laughs> in, instead of a bat situation? With a beer, yeah. Yeah, use a drumstick as a bat. I mean, the ball is soft. Yeah, that checks out. All those things are on this list. All you gotta do is, I mean, you just have to run in little bursts, you know? What's in your nose that she's wanting to get out? Oh, my brain. Yeah, she's definitely trying to kill you. Toga party. There you go. 
It's never been be, to a toga it's party. Got to be something. You, uh, do you wear? Do you wear stuff under togas at toga parties? And is that actually depends a thing? on the toga party? Because where are you going to put these snacks? It's got to be. I guess it's got to be something that you can you can put in your butt crack. Has anybody here been to a toga a party? Twizzler. Is it just mythical? You been to one? Did you say is it just mythical? What does that mean? Is it? You know, is it? Is it company sanctioned? Is it, is it, is it I don't tale? remember ever going to a toga party. <laughs> well, we should make that happen. You you do that what? if you're in a frat, right? Is that what it is? It's a I Greek life thing? I think it's just that age group is the prominent age group of toga parties. But I don't think that there's a, a, a frat specific mandate. But yes, there is the Greek thing. Well, there's no pockets. Yeah, that's why I said one single Twizzler mm. nestled in your butt crack. Oh. You can, if you, you, it's like, that guy's walking funny. As long as you're squeezing the cheeks. He's probably cheek. still, still got his Twizzler. Squeezing the, <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> Late in the evening, you know. He'll break it out Hold on to your here. Twizzler. Um, Just don't eat the middle of the Twizzler. You can eat the ends. What are their ideas? Uh, This is where I thought you were going with the Twizzler, but you didn't, um... Nerd ropes because ah. they could be useful to, to to you know tie up your toga up situation. Toga. Yep. Oh, got to tie that I toga like up. Hey, and a nerd rope is good. Um, like, a good nerd rope will make you happy. They've also there's there is a a disclaimer that you you don't want to eat anything that could stain because. The toga you're wearing is most likely your mm -hmm. only bed sheet, you yeah. know. Right, 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 right. So that's important. So what if it's already stained and you show up with a stain? Well, then, it, yeah, I think I feel like everything's fair game. Okay. Now this dog has a wiener. Let me show it to you. That other dog over there doesn't have one of these. Mm -hmm. Right there. We don't need to. That's not. I'm covering it up with the tail. Look at it. Look, cover it up with the tail. It's the most submissive thing I've ever seen in my life. Hey, he your daddy is showing your brother's wiener to the no, people. I'm not. I'm covering it up with his tail. Your daddy is showing your brother's Twizzler to everybody. International Squirrel Day. International Squirrel Day? Keep the wiener closed. I think you got to go with nuts. I mean, let's be real here, you know? I think you got to I think you got to go with nuts, which incidentally, uh, Jasper doesn't have a lot to say about that. Look at him. He's just laying there. <laughs> I mean, he's like he, you can like He's like an action figure that you just sort of articulate into a certain position, and then he's like, okay, is this how you want me to? Is yeah. this how you want me to be right now? Yeah, in other words, exactly what I wanted in a dog. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And a posable, pettable love sponge. So you lay down. There you go. <laughs> Cover up your wanger. I kind of hate it for him. <laughs> he, he loves it. He loves it. The attention so much, and they both hate the cat, but kind of like the cat. Jade, you, you, okay, there you go. Why don't you face the people? Face the people. All right, Is she going for your nose she's, or your mouth? It go, appears your nose. No, my experience with Jade, both everybody that I've ever seen her interact with is she licks the nose. She licks my wife's nose, she licks my nose, she licks my kid's nose. But she licked Link's mouth. Yeah, she licked my mouth. Oh. Hmm. Uh, maybe it's the maybe Close it's the beard, but she did the same thing to Jesse. So maybe it's just the McLaughlin nose thing. Close the wiener window. She wants your hand. Okay, I'll pet you. I'll pet you. Okay, it's gonna be okay. Everybody, there's enough attention to go around for everybody. Our grooming collection is growing. Shop the expanded Mythical Grooming Collection now at mythical.com.